Hello! Here is the Trek Pro Calibre 8 from 2018. It was the most expensive model with aluminium frame. Next one was Pro Calibre 9.6 with some cheaper parts. Thanks to the smooth welds, the frame are very similar to each other, and Alloy One looks more expensive than it really was. They are also linked by a special Trek damping system called ISO Speed. This Pro Caliber had a XT SLX 2x11 drivetrain with a race face next SL carbon cranks, but as everybody knows, they had some problems. Therefore, for the sake of safety, I replaced them with a trouble free Shimano XT 8000 cranks spinning in a Token Ninja press fit bottom bracket. Due to the fact that Trek will ride mostly on a flat terrain, I changed the drivetrain to 1x11. It allowed me to drop about 500 grams, and in this configuration, it weighs only 11.5 kilograms. I changed stock Riba with motion control damper to RockShox Revelation Charger LC fork from Specialized Turbo Levo Comp Man. It works much better and it's stiffer thanks to 35mm tensions. If you want to know more about it, check my previous movies, link to them and more you can find in the upper right corner and in the description. Its weight is 1900 grams, so it's only slightly heavier than Riba. I also lowered its travel to 130mm to keep the reasonable geometry. Revelation in this frame is only for a moment, as the owner will soon switch this hardtail into a light trail bike. If you are curious about this change, stay till the end. Flatbond Razor handlebar gave away to wider Kelly's bar with 50mm rise and an Excel of 40mm long stem with 7 degree rise. This bike will be used for longer trips, so making a more upright and comfortable position was my priority. Plastic HTPA 12 pedals are responsible for the good hold of the shoe and keeping the weight low. Heavy and narrow Bond Rager wheels with ball bearing hubs were changed to wheelset from specialized chisel with cartridge bearings, on which I used Continental Racing tires in the lightest version, Race Sport. And what about this ISO speed? Does it work at all? I don't feel any special difference, but I'm used to riding on a full suspension bike, so I might be insensitive to such a small shock absorption. Maybe in the carbon frame it's more noticeable, but I haven't ridden it. In my opinion, Trek could stop using ISO speed in aluminium mountain bikes, which are equipped with large volume tires that provide good damping and use them only in road and gravel bikes, where tires are thinner and don't work as good as the bigger cousins. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions, feel free to write it in the comments. And if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe my channel, where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!